Huh, Geodude, all right, cool. This guy's, this guy's rocking a Geodude. Sweet, yeah. Spang, I feel like Hitmonlee is one of those unfortunate games where Pokemon is super cool but not used often for whatever reasons. Hitmonlee is really, really good, and anytime any, if you've ever seen me play against a Hitmonlee, Note that I always prioritize that Pokemon. Its damage output is ridiculous. It has well above average speed tiering. It is the literal definition of a glass cannon. It's like the fair most of this format. I always uh, psychic it first. I see a lot in doubles. I always psychic it first. I always wing attack it. I go out of my way to pin those Pokemon. So like, yeah, I can totally do it. I think the Pokemon we'll lose here is uh, probably Venusaur. It's good against half of the team. And you can see part of the other half. I'm using a different team. I'm using the wrong team. Hold on. This is a different team. Uh, that does is okay. Yeah, I think we still. I thought I was using my. I, for some reason, I picked the wrong team. Like I said, if anyone wants me to use Pokemon, then just trade them to me. I'll use them. Timid or modest? Uh, I think that like Timid's probably better, but like, if, what's Mega Pidgeot's base speed? It's not 100. So we'll check. What's Tim, what's Mega Pidgeot's base speed? I want to know if it's like 110 or 115. I kind of wish I had the other team to fight this guy. I kind of wish I had the other team to fight this guy. Uh, I accidentally clicked the wrong team. So it's my fault. We used Caterpie. I, I've already used one. I was wondering why I clicked box team. All right. What does he have again? I just want to leave C. He's not gonna mega. Luigi's better in case he subs, guys. And I don't think he's timid. Or sorry, I don't think he's jolly. No, Luigi Seed. Are you mega? Luigi Seed. Make it the connection. Show me a sub. Show me a thunder wave. Show me all that stuff. It's better. Bite. Bite! Alright, alright. Alright, my chief. I got My chief! My elite torn chieftain over here. What are you doing? What are you working with? 121? Is it really? I would probably go modest then. I'd, I'd go modest. You can get away with that. No, we're not even sleeping then. Pop those megas. I think modest is better. I think you can get away with modest. Because you're already outspeeding base 110. If you're outspeeding base 110 if you're modest or timid. The only thing you're outspeeding that's common is regular Alakazam at 121 to be timid. So it's actually, it's actually a waste to be timid. You still outspeed uh, base 110s. You won't outspeed Starmie, but like, I think that's fine. They're gonna expect you to outspeed. You don't outspeed. There's a couple other Pokemon on speed, but like, that's fine. I don't think it's a big issue. Modest it shall be. Perfect. Also, I wanna, I wanna pop that big Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam! One shot Mewtwo's. Like, st after Stealth Rocks, you probably one shot like a Mew. That'd be awesome. I'm just gonna switch here. If he doesn't, he's in for a bad time. Speaking of bad times, I kinda wanna play that Undertale game. I have it on the Switch and I've just never played it. I kinda wanna play some Undertale. Never played it before. I know a little bit about it. I know from what I've heard, I like the music. But I've never like played it. Now, let's see what he goes for. Sludge Bomb. This plus Leech Seed should kill this guy. And we get the poison. Y'all take it. Hope Leech Seed goes for poison. <laughs> Leech Seed, go before poison. Let me get some health. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, I showed Sludge Bomb. They didn't have to, but like, uh, nice did it just in case to make sure. Alright, he's gonna send Charizard out here most likely. He hasn't mega yet. Maybe I'll switch to, like, Nidoqueen. Queen. We'll see. Hmm, what do you guys think he's gonna do? It has to be Charizard, right? It's totally Charizard right now. Dragonite. Oh, man, that's a little bit different. All right, Dragonite. Okay, you're sleep seeding. You don't need to sleep out Just sit back, max, relax. Leech seed him up. Yo. Leech seed's how you win. Leech seed. Making the connections, that's what I'm talking about. Big leech seed. You gonna go for an outrage? Oh, he's so mad. That was. And see, the fact that we already have the leech seed up, already getting ticks on him, that's so big. Because now when we go for sleep powders, if I sleep powder, I skip his turn, and there's actually, like, 
damage being done to him while his turn is being skipped. When you go for Sleep Powder, right, and you put him to sleep, and the next turn you Leech Seed, and then they wake up that turn and hit you, like, you would have had, you would have had, like, no Leech Seed ticks yet until you already died, and you can't get a Leech Seed tick if you're dead, right? You see how that works? How you get so much more value if you can actually soak one attack before going for a Sleep Powder. And then, you're also not, like, if I miss that Sleep Powder right here, I wouldn't be, like, super behind, because I already got the Seed up. Versus, like, if I went for Sleep Powder the first turn, missed, and then he outraged, I'd be like, well, now I have to hit Sleep Powder, and then I have to hit Sleep Powder, put him to sleep, he's asleep that turn, and then I have to spend his sleep turns that he's guaranteed to sleep, going for my Leech Seed, but it's already up. See, like, how ahead we are? Go ahead. And now he's probably gonna switch Charizard. Oh, he can, yeah, he can switch now. He's probably gonna switch Charizard. He's gonna switch on a Sludge Bomb and get Paralyzed, or Poison. Okay, anytime you know, you can soak that damage. Go for the Leech Seed first. Leech Seed first, ask questions later. Sleep Powder, I think, should, shouldn't be used like when you're really behind. It should be used like when you're really, really ahead and have the luxury to do it. Show me Charizard. See, I told you. See, you see? We forced all this. And if I get that poison, I'm rewarded for my good play. Reward me. No. Maybe next time. All right. I have like no good switches for Charizard, do I? You know, Venusaur's done his job. Venusaur, you did your job, Chief. Can't, can't ask for much more than that. Yep, he's going Mega. I want to see X. I'd rather see X than Y. Yeah. I'm with Alexander for one shot. That was Psychic. But I know I could be X. Dragon R Rage! I'm living, though. I'm thriving right now. See that poison. Oh, yeah! Let me see what he actually has. Dragon Rage. Yeah, dude, OP. <laughs> hey, man. Not everyone is as good as we are. They see, like, oh, dragon attacks? Yes, please. So, can't be mad at you for that. I'm gonna take out from Toxic. So, like, it doesn't matter what we do. I'd rather go into a Pokemon that can, like, U turn to it. I think it's Zapdos uh, still has U turn and stuff like that. So, we'll see if I need it. Uh, he might be able to come in with, like, any of the rock types. He has, like, a Geodude back there. That's totally fine. I have no problem with this. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. This is your time, Geodude. Is it? Sh it better be a shiny Geodude, right? Show it to me. Last place. Oh, man. I mean, I will Thunderbolt you. You had to send a Rhydon or a Geodude out. And you were like, yes, Blastoise. That's my, that's my aesthetic. Thunderbolt, big damage. Oh my gosh, is that a crit? Or am I just the best? Oh, I'm just the best. I'm just the best! Alright, he's like forced to send out the ride onto the Geodude now. That's kind of funny. Geodude, there it is! Show me shiny. It's not even shiny, yo. Not even. Oh, it's your turn. Do some chip. I'm gonna come in with the Venusaur. I wanna, I wanna see if Venusaur can live it. Venusaur! Alright, we're gonna dodge a rock slide, guys. Get ready to put your dancing shoes on right now. Venusaur bobbing, weave, moving, groove, down. Oh, explosion! Yo! Geodude popping off right now! Oh, man. Yo, here in that KO. That's his KO. That was pretty, that was pretty lit. Geodude, the one and only. Explosion. You know, if he's making a video, there, that's his highlight, you know. Can't tell me it didn't work. Not shiny like yours, I know, right? I mean, Geodude picked up a KO. Probably be right on or something. Yep. His last Pokemon is... I think the... Is it? It's Dragonite, yeah. Geodude was a grenade. Yeah. Hey, I'm back. How much longer do you plan on streaming today? Um, so, this stream is kind of wearing out. This seems like kind of dipping down. 
Uh, I plan on doing a second stream later tonight, though. So, like, we're gonna take a little break soon. I don't think this kills, right? I really don't. Yeah, almost. Take, take down. Yo, can you kill yourself? Recoil. Recoil. Recoil, boys. Oh my gosh, yo. This guy's full grenade launcher team. He's like explosioning and take downing. I think this guy's team's actually hilarious, so. What a champion. Last Pokemon see a sleep dragon at, right? I think it's at like half. The one that got worked over by Venusaur. That's the one, yo. That's the one. Even though it's obvious this guy's like an in-game team, I always think like the there's always things you can learn about like board positioning, different like orders in which you use your moves, pins and stuff like that. You can execute all these things. Treat this kind of like as a like soul like a one-player game, you know? There's things you can always be working on, like a, a good example is when we fought like the Dragonite and the Gyarados, going for the Weak Seeds first. Practice that stuff, like practice, good practice, good practice, perfect practice makes perfect. It's that, it's how that works. Venusaur was like, and I'd catch a grenade for ya, you, you know it was. Venusaur wouldn't have worked that game. And there's no reason to show Dazzling, dude, there's no reason to show like any of that stuff. Dazzling probably would have KO'd, but like, why show it, you know? Why even show? But yeah, like there's always things to like work on in practice and like learn. Even in games against people who have like perfect teams. Like in reality, when you go to like events, you're gonna have to fight people that aren't like super high level anyways, and you're gonna need to work on strats that work exclusively against people that might be of a little bit lower skill. I always call it like a I always call it like a noob combo, right? You always want some sort of like weed or something, or some sort of combo thing that can just win you games against players who like aren't really like regional level and so Melmo, Mewtwo, Golduck, Jolteon, Sandslash, Clefable, wow. Super serious team, it's okay. Maybe we can get something to work. Uh, Melmetal is going to be a pain to deal with. And seven Mewtwo's right, I wish. So Adam and Immodest, huh? I must chain for a hasty rock a mix set. I mean, hey man, if you want to get me all three of those, I will use it. I'll feature a Magmar stream build three different Magmar teams, kind of like how I did with Lickitung. I'll use any Pokemon if people want to trade me them, and I'll show you guys the best, most coolest way to make them work. Like, half the reason you see me use Venusaur is because I have this Venusaur, you know? Like, I have this Dugtree, I have this Beedrill, you know? That's all, half the reason why you always like, I, you used that set before, it's like, yeah, this is the only one I have, you know? But I would use a physical Magmar for like four or five games, a special one for four or five games, and then like the hasty mixed one that has like awesome mixed attacks for like four or five games. And have like a three three hour stream of all Magmar games. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I actually like Magmar more than Magmortar, I think. I think Magmortar looks like Gutsman from freaking Mega Man. Jolteon versus Venusaur? Sign me up, yo. Sign me up. What do you do? I don't even want to sleep out of this. Like, I'm not going to break the sleep clause if I don't have to, so I'm not going to break the sleep clause on a Jolteon. Draw, show me who's eating a leech seed. Is it a fable? Please. Praise. Melmetal eating the leech seed, yes, please! Leech seed! Oh! That's so good. Actually, good with you about Magmortar. Well, in Magmar runs Confuse Ray. Yeah, Magmar gets Confuse Ray, like Will O Wisp, like Low Kick, it gets so many moves. Alright. Yeah, all those Pokemon are good stuff. We go for Sleep Fighter now. This is what I wanted to sleep the whole time. Melmetal, take a nice little cat nap. Sleep powder. Make it the next one. Cheat's already up. Magmar, I hate autocorrect. Yo, I get you, Chief. I get you. And from here, like, I think we just kind of stay. I think we just chill. Like, look at that. Damn. That's big. I think I was actually going to start Mega Drain it. Because, like, if we Mega Drain and he switches to Cofable, Mega Drain plus Sudge Bomb will kill Cofable. So I'm just going to stay in. I'd like the switch, but if I'm in such a good spot, I'll live forever. Woke up, never lucky. Woke up, double iron bash, never lucky. One turn sleep. That's the question, yo. What's up? What's the question? Is that a crit? Oof. Right, can I hit this sleep powder? It'd be 
awesome if I get this. Look how much that double iron bash did though. It's ridiculous. All right, sleep powder survey says. What about the new Dragon Steel type Pokemon? Um, it's probably not gonna be any good. The stuff they reveal early usually ends up not being that good. Kind of like a good example is like uh, Drudagon. What's that thing in Gen Five that has rough skin? Is it Drudagon? That thing sucks. I think it's gonna be like Drudagon. It's gonna be good in like lower tiers because really good typing, but like its stats are probably like not that great. Double Iron Bash OP, and it can flinch. By the way, it can flinch. It does all that and can flinch. Please just stay asleep. Crit, I'll take it. I don't need it, but like, I'll take it. That's right, stay asleep, we did it. Uh, grinded out a metal metal with Venusaur. I've always said that Venusaur can check metal metal. That's how it happens. A stage three? No, 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 no. Drodagon's not a stage three, Evo. Wait, the one you're talking about is a stage three? I don't think it is, I think it's a basic. If the one I'm thinking of, I think it's a basic. A little thing that looks like a little cannon. Goes bleh. I don't think it's a stage three. If it's a stage three, it's probably pretty good. I thought it was a basic. Dragon Steel type. Yeah, the thing I'm thinking about is a Dragon Steel type. Gets that crazy metal thing. Metal explosion move. I thought that was a basic type. I thought that was a basic. It doesn't look like, it doesn't look like it's big enough to be a stage three. And if it is H3, it's probably like Electros level good. If Venusaur is basic, yeah. Mewtwo. Oh, how mad are you that you send out Mewtwo? I still. I, I don't think he's gonna sub. I really don't think he's gonna sub. There's no way he subs, right? He's just gonna use Psychic because he's done with Venusaur. Does anyone know if that metal thing that Food is talking about is the biggest transfer? Is it? He's going Mega. Are you really subbing? Alright, so why? Alright, that's still good. Psychic, perfect. No special design. Look at that damage. So, so big. So, Shadow Ball will KO me here. But the reason why I wanted to trick him is not the Shadow Ball here. We get a free switch in a Snorlax. Soak damage with Slowbro. That's what it's for in the team. Switch to Snorlax. I don't think he's Thunderbolting. He really might Thunderbolt. He should Shadow Ball. He's a Mewtwo Y. He should have Shadow Ball. Thunderbolt, he's so good. Look at that. He's so good. But at least Snorlax switched in on a Thunderbolt. Oh my gosh, I got parried. I was going to say, at least I switched in on a Thunderbolt and not a Psychic, but I got paralyzed 10% of the time. The Numbuttle's already down. You know what? Let's roll. You going to switch, Chief? You going to switch? I don't even care. Uh, Snorlax is a liability if it's paralyzed. Because we don't have the sod. Show me a Fable. I would love to see. I don't even, that's fine too. Please, dip. That's perfect damage. I mean, we already have Kingdra. Like, Kingdra's already a Pokemon. We don't need a second Kingdra. Two Kingdras would be too good. One Kingdra's like just enough to be balanced, I think. Yeah, I didn't want to set a rocks on me, so I'm doing all these. You turn okay there. I think I'm gonna go in with uh I wanna set rocks with Doug Trio. You should Thunderbolt Psychic, like me too might have ice beam. I, I think you've had Shadow Ball, what do you Shadow Ball against a slow bro, but Shadow Ball's technically slow, like weaker than Thunderbolt. What's the nature for Snorlax? Uh like Adamant if you want like a really big aggressive set or careful. There's also like talk to be done about having um there's also, like, talks to be had about having, like, Impish. What's good? Hitmonlee. Oh, man, I haven't even started building for Hitmonlee, so I have no clue. He gets high jump kick, right? That's a pretty good move. Gets bulk up. Pretty good move. On my top five fighting Pokemon, I give a brief, like, Hitmonlee move. So I think Hitmonlee kind of actually needs Rock Slide. It's one of the few Pokemon that does. Because it doesn't get the elemental punches, if I remember correctly. And so, like, EQ. So, like, bulk up, Rock Slide, EQ, high jump kick is a default move set, I think. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I would say it works. What's up? I don't see the Mewtwo. Uh, I might just sucker punch the Mewtwo to make sure it goes down. Might just sucker punch the Mewtwo. 
put it within range for a guaranteed uh, U-turn. Waiting on him, though. Like, I'm in a great spot. Take out that Sand Slash. He has Jolteon, right? You don't want to send Jolteon out here. He has Mewtwo. Like, you would send the Mewtwo out here if he had a move that could hit the Dugtrio. Golduck. That's the perfect choice. And I think against a Golduck, I just set Rocks. So I will. Don't care about Golduck. And if he wants to go for some sort of weird setup move, like, what is Punish next turn? But we outspeed the Golduck. But first, Dugtrio. I actually really like Golduck. 2017 VGC. Like, I used so much Golduck that year. Like, I used so much Golduck. It was the best Swift Swimmer in the format because it was such a limited Pokedex. There was no Kingdras. There's no Woody Colos. It was all Golduck. Calm mind. I was going to say, if he sets up. Yeah. He can just punish. Because we can put him through for B Drill uh, Poison Jab. Let me just make sure what he has in the back. He has Golduck Mewtwo. Jolteon. Okay. Okay, well, getting rocks is very important. Okay, two All right. He's gonna stall this here, but now he's within range for a poison jab. Crit! Wow. Oh my. Oh, he's not even getting anything. He went for the double. He double dipped into the calm mind. Yo. It's a little bit too calm. It's a little bit too calm right now. I. I. He didn't think I was gonna crit, but crits only do 1.5, and that did about 70%. So that means that I would have done 50% either way. Which means he shouldn't have called minded there. But uh, he also didn't know. He probably just didn't think I'd do that much, period. He might even be like bold and thought that he could soak uh, two EQs without any crits. But that was is incorrect. So let's go. Uh, Cafe will be really cool to see here. Yeah, let's go right play. I wonder if he's going to try and set rocks. I was thinking about to trade my level 20 Garrus with Jolly from Let's Go to Sword and Shield. Also, Ivy's are perfect. Yeah, I mean, yeah, trade all your Pokemon from Let's Go to Sword and Shield uh, when you can. I don't think it's going to be available to a Pokemon home, but you, all these Pokemon from Let's Go, like, you want them in Sword and Shield. There's the Ice, but I'm really happy he's not setting rocks. 3D plays always get hacked. Yo, that is true, 100% of the time. In this situation, I can't KO with Earthquake, so it's actually a better idea to go for a Rock Slide, get that 30% chance flinch, because I already put him in the range for a Poison Jab. His health actually doesn't matter at all once I get KOs. So if I get the flinch here, eh, if I did, that's cool. If not, it didn't matter. But uh, you can see what I was going for. Uh, earthquake would have lessened about 5 to 10%. And so instead of just using two Earthquakes and automatically going down, the fact that he's already not at full means he just gets killed by Beedrill. So try and get the flinch. If I got the flinch, I would have been able to EQ. But uh, it's, always, it's always little tweaks like playing your out. If I can build you the perfect Hitmonlee, would you want to use it? I have like 40 heart scales, tons of bottle caps, and I can just pick the nature then level it. I might already have the Hitmonlee. Let me check after this game before you get in on anything. Because I think I have one. Yep, perfect ditto. I mean, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Uh, you know if you bottle cap Pokemon in this game, they don't, like, so if you bottle cap the ditto, right, your ditto would not breed perfect IV stuff. Your ditto actually has to have perfect dives without bottle caps. You actually have to get a six IV ditto. That's not easy. I really think he might. I'm actually going to go for the drill run. Uh, I really don't want him to set a reflex. This might lose me the game, but I'm going to go for it. If I if I U-turn and he sets reflex, I can't beat his Mewtwo, guys. So that's that's literally what that is. So we're going to try and get the KO drill run before he can set up a reflex. I think that's what he's been playing for this whole time. We'll see, though. How are you gonna get a big? I don't know. How, I don't know how it would take a long time to get a perfect ditto like chaining. In this game, like ditto chains, are like that's how do you? I've never even like found the ditto in this game. I made the connections. Can we get the KO on Jolteon? Rocks are up. The two KOs Jolteon, perfect. I know he was setting up reflect. Um, the reflect would have made it, like I said, so I would not have been able to kill that Mewtwo with the U-turn. I'd have had a U-turn like twice. What had a U-turn? I read U turn here, he sets reflect, I go to Pokemon Fodder, U turn again, KO the Jolteon, Fodder second one, I would have been out of step. So those of you thinking like, why don't you just U turn like four times? Well, it doesn't, doesn't work like that. U turn should KO here, and even if it doesn't, um, that's why we have three Pokemon extra in the back. Yep, like I said, even if it doesn't, that's why you got three Pokemon back. That's how I always say you want to get Mewtwo's about 70%. That time he was hanging around about 80. Uh, I think the Venusaur is probably a better Pokemon here. Because you, you want to, like, really punish a Venusaur. 
and I don't want to like have him send out Starmie and then start call mining me. I wanted to Psychic to try and KO the Beedrill. Flamethrower, same thing. I didn't want Starmie to sit on the board. I'd much rather him KO literally any of these Pokemon. Oh, Beedrill. Oh, come on. I want to send my Beedrill back out, but it's okay. If he goes for Recover, that's lame, but as long as you won't get him at... Alright, cool. As long as he doesn't get to uh, above 70%, we can just send out Beedrill and do the same thing again. This guy played like an absolute champion, but his Melmetal, his Mewtwo, they're not enough. They're not enough today. Maybe some other time. Look at this guy's team. Like, Melmetal, Mewtwo. I mean, he memed a little bit with Golduck, but like... We take those. We take those all the way to the bank. Don't say we don't take them. Use Melmetal Mewtwo. That's the win. Like, that's, that's a win for me. Right, yo. Wins up. Perfect.